In addition to the thousands of sounds included with Audio Design Desk, you probably also want to import your own sounds for use in projects. The ADD Tags window is where you import your sounds and apply metadata to make those sounds searchable and to give Audio Design Desk the ability to use them in different ways. To open this window, you can either use the keyboard shortcut Command I or you can just select Import Audio from the library menu. So let's start by bringing in a few sound effects. One way to do this is to go to the file menu within the ADD Tags window and select Open Files or Folders, or alternatively, just drag and drop a folder from the Finder. The files will be listed here, and as you can see with these particular effects, there's no information on category, subcategory, type, or subtype. Now you could go through each file one at a time, categorizing them all entirely manually, that can be quite time consuming though, so we've included an option where Audio Design Desk can guess the metadata fields. The more descriptive the file names, the more likely this is to give you the correct results. We recommend letting the program get you started and then tweaking from there. So if your sounds aren't already selected, click them and press Command A, and then just click on Guess All Metadata Fields. And as you can see, Audio Design Desk has gone through and guessed the category, subcategory, type, and subtype fields and it looks like it's done a reasonable job. It's correctly identified them all as sound effects. Incidentally, the folder structure these are contained within is taken into account when guessing the metadata, so it helps if the folder is named in a meaningful way. Mine was just called Sound Effects 1. The sounds in this particular folder are mostly stems, and I can see that this has been identified as the subcategory. Let's take a listen to a couple of these. First one, man laughing. <laughs> Okay, and this one looks good. The type is human and the subtype is laugh, so that's accurate. This one, the horse Winnie, <laughs> looks to be quite good. The type is animals, subtype is horse. But because this is actually a single effect, I don't really want it to be a stem, so I'm going to go over here with it selected and just change that to element. I've also got this crackling fire sound effect here. And it looks like it needs a couple of tweaks, so I'll set this one as an element as well. And you can always enter your own type, so I'll put in fire. And I'll put the subtype as crackling, but it could be ambience. You probably also want to assign an intensity and complexity to these sounds too, as it really helps later on when you're searching for the sounds. And if you want to assign similar attributes to several sounds at once, you can select them all and then just set these. So intensity and complexity, maybe I want to change some of these ones to, for example, three and five. Of course, if you were doing this properly, you'd take a little bit more care than this. One of the other things you're going to want to do is assign keywords to the sounds. Again, this is quite important for subsequent searches. So select a sound and type the keywords here. And in this case as well, you might have several sounds which require the same keywords. So in my case, I'm only importing a few, but there are two sounds of dogs barking. So I can select them both and then any keywords I import will, of course, apply to both of them. You can also copy and paste attributes from one file to another. I'll just drop in a third sound effect of a dog barking. Drop that in. And to begin with, this has no metadata assigned, but I can easily copy it from one of the other files just by selecting it and pressing Command C. Then I select the file or files I want to paste those attributes to. And from the edit menu in the ADD tags window, choose paste attributes, or you can press option V. You can choose which of these you want to paste. In this case, the defaults are fine, which is everything apart from the title. Click OK and all of those fields have been filled out. Let me show you something else just before we import these sounds. So this file, for example, is a stem and it consists of several individual dog barks. But I want to be able to use these sounds individually and put them on a trigger. So how do I do that? Well, just select each one in turn and press the letter U on the keyboard. You don't need to get this super accurate, but once you've got it close, Audio Design Desk will place the sync marker and do all the rest for you. If you really want to manually assign the sync markers, you can go in and just press the letter M. Once you're happy with everything here, you'll want to save the metadata into the file. I can tell that I haven't saved this yet because the text is in italics and we've got this little orange circle. So I'll go into the file menu within this window and select Save All Metadata. And as you can see, it's saving it. Then to actually import the sounds, choose Import to your library. This is the part where you would choose Create Elements and also Guess Sync Markers in Elements if required. You also have the option of converting the file format, sample rate and bit depth. I'm going to keep them as they are and just copy them. 
Any audio files you import this way will end up in your library folder within the ADD folder on your system drive. And you can see over here we've got a latest import section which gives you really quick and easy access to the files you've just brought in so you can assign them to triggers. So now I can search for any of those sounds and use them within projects within Audio Design Desk. It's also possible that you might just want to export elements as individual files. That's really easy to do too. Identify the elements from a stem in the same way as before by selecting them and pressing U. Then just choose Export Elements from the File menu. Select the export location and then just click Open. And I've now got separate files which I can use for whatever I want. Just a couple of additional points about the importer window. There will be times when you'll be importing large volumes of sounds in one go. In those cases you might want to create folders using this button and drop files into those folders for better organisation during the tagging process. This can help to make the task a lot more manageable by splitting sounds into different folders according to type. Also, if you want to resume tagging a bunch of sounds at a later time, just save it as a project so you can come back to it and finish off the work when you're ready. There's also an option in this window to export sounds as an ADD sound pack. To do this, just select Export Sound Pack from the ADD Tags window file menu, and here once again you can see we have the option to guest sync markers in Elements. Now you might well prefer not to have imported sounds copied into your library folder on the system drive, but instead to reference them from an external drive. In that case, I could just right click in the Sound Pack section over here and choose Add Folder. Select the one I want and click Open. And now you can see we have that folder over here on the left hand side. And if the sounds haven't been tagged, I can select them, right click, and then choose Edit Metadata. I've got four music files here, so I'm going to start by selecting them and clicking the Guess All Metadata Fields button. And everything there looks to be good so far. The category is Music, it's a full mix, and these are loops. When working with music files, you might want to add additional information, things such as the album, composer, publisher, etc., but also the key. Let's just take a listen to a little bit of this. So that might be in C major, I could identify that, but we've also got a tempo field here. Now if you know this, just type it in, or you can start the file playing and click on tap and it's going to calculate it for you. Let's just give it a go. Okay, so that looks to be about or exactly 130 beats per minute, I'm pretty happy with that and it's a really quick and easy way just to identify the tempo. After inputting keywords for a bunch of sounds, you might want to change a keyword because it's wrong or maybe even just remove it altogether. So I'll quickly select these files and then add some keywords. And one of the words was rock, but maybe it should have been orchestral. So I could go into the metadata menu, choose find and replace keyword, and then the word you want to replace, what you want to replace it with, and then just click replace and it's done for all selected files. To completely remove a keyword using this method, just leave the replace field blank and it's gone. And one final thing in this menu which can be especially handy for sound effects is the title to keywords option. Let me just drop another sound effect in. So the title to keyword option does precisely what you'd expect and it takes words from the file name and makes them into keywords. This would be great for a file name something like this, race car driving fast accelerating engine. Really quick and easy. So that's an overview of the importer in Audio Design Desk. We hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.